Hey guys, it's Amber with ASR Custom Designs. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a really uh, fun project that you can do at home. And um, I am using my Waverly chalk paint um, on the board. I've already painted it. And then I'm using Hobby Lobby tissue paper and then Mod Podge. Um, so what I'm doing here is cutting out the tissue paper down to size. And just want to make sure that you don't waste um, all of it because you can use it for other projects. So. Alright, so the next thing I did there was I just put the Mod Podge onto the board um, and taking my heat gun and just going over that to make sure it is good and dry. And then I am taking my tissue paper, laying it down on top of the board and taking my mini heat press and I go over it about 20 to 30 seconds just to make sure that is um, that it is on there um, and won't peel off when when you start to sand it. All right, so right now I am just taking my sandpaper and I am going along the edges and just do that in a downward motion so you don't rip your tissue paper. All right, so next what I'm doing is I'm just taking a paint pen and a ruler and I'm drawing on some shiplap lines just to kind of give it more of a rustic look and I also take just a piece of painters tape as well to do my spacing um, between each line just to make sure I have a right the right amount of space um, so that is what I am doing here So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Hello um, decal that I made on my Cricut and just going to place that on top of the board, get it lined up and um, lay down um, onto the board and make sure it's on there good and everything and looks good so far. And then next what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take just some black paint. Um, you can do any paint, black, gray, brown. Um, kind of give it the edges, the kind of a rustic look, um, distressed, and um, go around that. And then you can take your brush and kind of do like a dry brush effect where you just um, go over the top of it and give that area, you know, just some little pieces that look like, you know, some messed up in the wood. And then I'm gonna take my sanding block and go over those edges. All right, last thing here is I am stapling down my bow and getting it on there and um, getting it, make sure it's good. And here is the finished product. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks, bye.